Happy and you know it, say AP. Happy and you know it, say AP. AP. One in a billion and I'm back. <sighs> Guys, I'm out here getting my walk on. Every day I try to walk, jog, or ride my bike. It is, it is very important that in all times you take care of your immune system. You take care of your body. Keep your body strong. When your body is strong, it can be that defense mechanism against all, all things that come anyway. So you want your body to be physically strong. Then you also want a relationship with God. You have a relationship with the man upstairs, then you're spiritually strong. Then it's important that you do things to ensure your happiness. This way you'll be mentally strong as well. Spirit, soul, and body strong. Then you'll be ready at all times. So with that said, I want to tell y'all guys something. So we in um and I hate making videos and, and dating my videos, but I'll do it this time. It's mid-April and come back December. December of 2019. My family and I, we went to celebrate my wife Dangerous Diva's birthday. So we went to celebrate her birthday and we went to PF Chang's. Everybody came through. You can go look at all of our videos on the Soul and Love Family channel or SJ Funk channel and you'll see. We celebrated my wife's birthday, December 13th. And then after that, the following day, me, my wife, my son Jay Funk, and my son Josiah. All of us were sick, like real sick that next day. And the sickness we had, oh my God, it lasted for, I want to say, over a month. I mean, we were sick. We were coughing. I felt like I was about to cough up a lung, man. I like, what is this cough? I've never coughed like this before in my life. It's not coming out my nose. One of the things I, I really dislike is having to, uh, to blow my nose. It's just a pet peeve of mine. I hate doing that. So during this time of sickness, I really had to blow my nose. All the time. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. I never in my whole life had to blow my nose. Now I'm blowing my nose. And then I feel like I'm coughing up a freaking lung. <laughs> I felt like I was coughing up a lung. It was crazy. So, temperature, 102, 103. January comes, and my boys have basketball games. I'm the basketball coach for J Funk's team. And, um, you know, we, we're still holding practices so J-Funk could be good one game then the next game he's back out of it one game I remember he missed picture day because he had a hundred and three degree uh, temperature and then the next the same day or the next day we had a game he missed the game so he misses his game and I mean he loved hooping so for him to miss the game it really had to be something serious so he missed the game I'm still sick, but you know, I got a whole team out there, so I'm doing what I gotta do for the team. My nephews is on the team. Other kids and their parents, uh, they, they wanted me to coach them again, so I'm coaching them. So I have a responsibility, so I'm still out there. So the next week, we like, j Funk, are you gonna play in the game? He still has like 101 fever. I think my wife was just able to bring it down 
giving him uh he would take a bath with ice to bring his temperature down so he takes the bath his temperature goes down just enough for him to play the game he played the game he played the worst game he had of the season our team won every game except for this game this one game we actually were winning but we ended up losing by one point and and and, and my son, Jay Funk, his cousin Will, and his cousin Xavier, all three of them were sick. And Xavier's got asthma, so it was even worse on him. So everybody was sick. Josiah was missing. I mean, if Josiah had eight games, an eight-game season, I think he missed three or four games because he was sick. That's how sick we were. And we really didn't know what we had. So I'm going to tell you what we did. What we did, we drunk either peppermint or green tea every day. Multiple times a day. Because it feels like your throat is closing. It felt like all this mucus in your throat was closing. So we were drinking tea around the clock sunlight getting out in the sun there's a lot of sun in california so all we got to do is just go out on our porch go out in the front and that's that but better than that as sick as i was i was still taking walks still taking walks because for one i want to keep my body in shape but two I mean, I just feel so good in the sun. I feel so good in the sun. Like the melanin in my skin, it's, the, it just absorbs the sun. It's, that's what it's doing right now. I love it. Oh. <laughs> so, so after that, what else did we do? Um, we changed our diet. We actually were on a fast. To begin with, we were on a fast to, to bring in the new year. So bringing in the new year, what we did was a lot of salads and a lot of soups. Soups and salads, not much meat, not much red, red meat going in our system. Matter of fact, for the fast, zero red meat. I'm still just thinking about it in December before the, before the fast. We had a little bit of red meat then, but... Once um, once um, the new year came in, that was it. It was a wrap for all of that. So, no red me. No red me. Exercising. My wife has a Peloton. For those of you that don't know, that's an exercise bike. So she would be on her exercise bike, getting it in. One of my gardeners doing somebody else's lawn. I see him, it's my man right there yeah let me say what's up to poppy real quick i'll be right back that's my man over there that's, that's my boy poppy right there so anyway like i was saying so some of the things we did let's uh let's go back so i can refresh your memory green or peppermint tea with lemons you got to have lots of lemons in it lots of lemons green and peppermint tea with lemons um oh guess what sleep sleep is important um hot foods fasting sunlight soup different things there Loosen your throat up. Feel like your th your th throat is is closing. So anyway, let me continue. So here it is. Probably we probably all kicked off this uh, virus that we had. Oh my bad, my bad. Let, I, I I forgot to tell you one important thing. I hate taking medicine. I hate taking pills any of that so echinea 
is what I will, I, I would take. I would take some Echenea, but I really, really did not want to take NyQuil or DayQuil because it feels like every time I take NyQuil or DayQuil, it just makes me cough even more. But my wife took it and she got better before me. So I kept fighting and fighting and I'm coughing. <coughs> and people are going to look at me crazy right now coughing. <laughs> I kept coughing. So I took, I finally, I took the NyQuil. Man, I took the NyQuil. I slept like a baby. I took it a, a couple more times and, uh, over the night. I was good, man, from then on. From then on, I was good. So NyQuil defi definitely contributed to me getting better and fighting off this virus. So now me and my wife are better. J-Funk is better. Josiah is still in and out of it. I mean, he's only four years old. He's a miracle baby, a preemie, born at one pound, spent six months in a hospital. So, <laughs> you know, it took a while for his immune system to get built, built up to the level that it can fight off everything. But um, he's there now. So what ends up happening? We good now. In February, we good. <sighs> My son, Jay Funk, turned out to have a great basketball season. The one bad game he had was the one that he was sick. <laughs> I remember he was so sick, even his cousins came from um from the East Coast, from New York, and he slept in the bed, like, for a, a couple days that they were there. That's how sick he was. So, so, what, uh, later on in February... We end up hearing about total distance two miles, total time thirty four minutes and nine seconds, split pace seventeen minutes twelve seconds per mile. Y'all hear that? I'm getting my miles in. So later on, we end up hearing about this virus, the coronavirus, COVID nineteen, and when they described all of the symptoms of this COVID nineteen coronavirus. Guess what it sounded just like? Exactly what we went through in December and January. So this is crazy. So me living in Southern California, I'm no longer exposed to the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is on the East Coast. The Atlantic Ocean even runs into uh, Europe. But... The Pacific Ocean runs into Asia. So, usually, see, it's the winds are starting to blow now. Usually, whatever is in the air in China, in Hong Kong, Korea, it then spreads over to where we live. That's the next place. So, what I normally see is a lot of Asians that live where I live in California, they usually have masks on. They usually have their mask on when they're walking. And keep them, me and my wife are walking that same day of her birthday. We went for a walk. Babe, come on, let's go for a walk. We went for about a five mile walk. I mean, we always walk, but usually it feels like our body is immune to whatever is out there because we've been living in this environment for so long. So we've developed an immunity to it we're used to it but something new came out and we were sick and we like what is this what is this you should have saw the shelves in all of the stores i would go to to the target i would go to, to the pharmacy or whatever store wiped out all of the night quill day quill i remember going to walmart wiped out every store i would go to Everything was wiped out. And we were like, what is this? Oh, man. Give me a second, y'all. Yeah, so we were like, what is this? What kind of cold is this we have? What kind of flu is this? We never felt nothing like this before. Guys, come to find out later on in late February, early March, People in America started dying. 
from this coronavirus. People started dying from this COVID-19 and all of the symptoms that are listed were the same symptoms that me, my wife, and my sons had. So can you believe that? Yes, we all had the same symptoms. So we never went to the hospital. We were, we were this close to bringing Josiah to the hospital because we don't play with him. We were this close to bringing him to the hospital, but we didn't. And so I'm saying that to say none of us ever took any test that said, oh, yeah, you guys have COVID-19, you have the coronavirus. But when I read what the symptoms are, when I watch somebody's video, when I watch the news and they say what the symptoms are of this COVID-19, it sounds exactly like what we had. So what I can say, you can defeat this coronavirus. You can defeat this COVID-19. You can defeat it. Okay? So guys, make sure you stay strong. Make sure you exercise. You can't sit around the house. You can't sit around the house. If you're in the house, start jumping rope. Jump rope. Exercise. Eat better than you've been eating. You got to you got to stop any uh uh, drug abuse and alcohol abuse. You got to stop that right now. If that's something you enjoy doing, get back to doing it once this is over. But right now, you got to chill. Because your immune system, it got to be at an all-time high right now. And your body can't do all of the extra work needed when it's not operating on 100%. So, you need your body to have a hundred percent to fight against a fight against this COVID-19 yeah? so that's what I want is for you guys to take care of yourselves take care of your bodies I want to see everyone winning I've lost a lot of people an unusual amount of people. An unusual amount of people have been lost from this virus. Every day I go on my Facebook timeline and someone is gone. Someone I grew up with or someone a little bit older than me that I know has passed. Man, I would have never thought in a million years that people I rub shoulders with, people that coach me in sports, people that used to encourage me when I was performing, people who I was just cool with or I would, I would dap, give, give dap to when I see them. I never would have thought that they would die from a pandemic, from a virus. You know, I lost one of my best friends growing up. <sighs> he was shot. He was killed. I never thought that would have happened. But, you know, in the back of your head, you say, uh, people get shot, people die from gun, guns all the time. But from a pandemic, from something that you can't even physically see, you don't even see it. And it's taking, you, taking people out. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. So... Yes, we know that um, I, what I'll say is it's very weird to me that this virus is skipping so many areas. It skips so many places, yet while it's skipping all of these different areas, how can it affect all of the areas in between that are populated by, by black people? That's populated by my people. This is crazy to me. And it doesn't, it doesn't even... It doesn't add up. How is it that the areas where our people live, 
are the areas that are getting affected the most. Coney Island, Hempstead, Brentwood. This is weird, man. Don't make much sense. Hold on. Yeah, y'all. So listen, what I want y'all to do is to go through the So In Love family videos and It's J Funk videos from December, middle of December, all the way up until February. If you want to see what it looks like to survive COVID-19. If you want to see what it looks like to survive and how people look when they have the different uh, symptoms of, of having this COVID, you could just look in our eyes in our videos. I know I got my shades on most of the time, but um, look in our eyes, look in my son's eyes, and you, you, you can see the sickness there. And then you can look at our videos from February on and see <laughs> us back to normal. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, guys, I want y'all to stay strong and definitely stay prayed up as well, too. Definitely add that into your regimen, your routine. Prayer. Prayer is important for us to communicate with the Lord, communicate with God, get closer to him and let him give you the wisdom on what to do in these times. So. I love you all and I look forward to being able to give you a physical hug but for now here's a virtual hug alright hey, one in a billion and I'm out happy and you know it say hey, happy and you know it say hey.